Special thanks to Patreon supporter Moss for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tube here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Leopard 2A5. The Leopard 2 is a main battle tank developed by Cross Mafi in the 1970s for West German Army. The tank first entered service in 1979 and succeeded the earlier Leopard 1 as the main battle tank of, Germ of the German Army. It is armed with a 120mm smoothbore cannon and is powered by a V12 twin turbo diesel engine. Various versions have served in the armed forces of Germany and 12 other European countries, as well as several non-European nations including Canada, Chile, Indonesia, Singapore, and Turkey. The Leopard 2 was used in Kosovo with the German army and has seen action in Afghanistan with the Dutch, Danish, and Canadian contributions to the International Security Assistance Force, as well as seen action in Syria with the Turkish Armed Forces. The 2A5 is kind of the... I guess beginning design of the newer versions um, as we see with kind of more of a pointed uh, type armor configuration in the front compared to the Leopard 2A4 below which kind of had a more uh, rounded off front compared to the pointed one um, that we see iconically in like the Leopard 2A7 and all that stuff. So the 2A5 was the first one to kind of contribute that. I believe it also was the first to mount the L-55 gun which allowed more powerful ammunition and just a very various amounts of kind of improvements over the previous um earlier models of the leopard so yeah pretty cool interesting vehicle here to add to our um german army here we've had a few german builds come out recently so nice to kind of see another one here in terms of the 2a5 this one here is a patreon request so i want to go and give special thanks to patreon supporter moss for making this tutorial possible as always um if you are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do feel free to check my patreon page link is always in my video description where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so or if you request requests you're choosing Really helps support the work you do on my channel and is very greatly appreciated. So if you are interested, feel free to check that link out down in the description. Um, one thing I do want to mention though is that this uh, vehicle here is done up in a forest type camo scheme which was specifically requested by the requester himself. So you can have the option to have this camo scheme onto the tank if you do want to. It's not obviously necessary but it's a cool little thing to add to kind of give your tank a little bit more detail. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. So taking a look at the 2A5 here, obviously as you can see here we have the main gun and the turret itself has that pointed um, kind of front to it rather than just, as you can see with the 2A4, kind of that flat slope there in the front. Moving back we have all the various uh, hatches here for the crew, commander's hatch, optics, um, machine gun mount on top there, and all that various equipment, little side armor, all that stuff, uh, the German um, army's iron cross. So I think it's called like the Bunzelwolf Bunzel or something like that, I don't know. Who knows? Um, and then the radio antennas and all that stuff, and then you have the rear detail and all that stuff. So overall, really nice model uh, for the Leopard 2A5, going to be a really nice addition to uh, basically your worlds as a modern German tank, and even as a tank being used by other countries, such as Canada and Turkey and all that stuff. So uh, you definitely have a lot of playability with this tank, but without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we're going to go ahead and start off with layer 1. For layer 1 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to start off by placing down a row of 2 of narrow breakups downstairs. So 1 and 2. Going back from this, we're going to place down a row of 2 of black shulker boxes like that across. We're going to go ahead and place down 2 dark oak wood trapdoors like this on the floor. We're going to go ahead and place down another set of 2 of, of black shulker boxes back to back. Followed by a row of two of polished blackstone, a second row behind this, and there are two black shulker boxes back to back. Then uh, two polished blackstone stairs back to back along the side here, and then another set of two of black shulker boxes like this on the side. After that, we're going to then place down two dark, two dark oak trap doors, and then two black shulker boxes again like this on the side. After that, we're going to then place down a row of two of narrow brick slabs, and a row of two of narrow brick top slabs. After we have that done, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak with top slabs coming off this narrow brick slab right there. And then going up to the front here, we're going to go and do the same thing. This time, however, we're going to be coming off this black shulker box, so one, two, and three dark oak with top slabs over. At this point here, we can go and take our dark oak with top slabs and just fill the whole space in here for the bottom of the tank. So just like this. And after we have that done, we're going to then place down basically the same thing we did on the other side over here to this side. So our black shulker boxes, our narrow brick ups downstairs. Also in the front here between the narrow brick stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak with trap doors like that. And then dark oak with trap doors here. Our shulker boxes, 
our back-to-back -back Polish Blackstone, our Shulker boxes, our back-to-back -back Polish Blackstone, and our Shulker boxes, and then our Dark Oak Trap Doors, two Shulker boxes, and then we're going to place down our two Nair Brick Slabs and our two Nair Brick Top Slabs. So, just like that there for the side, I know it went a little bit fast, but I've already kind of covered the other side there, and it's basically the same thing on both sides there, so it's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, also on the back here, we're going to go and place down a dark oak fence gate, coming off these two top slabs, and then a top slab right there in the middle between that those fence gates, and then a zombie head coming off this top slab like so toward the rear. After that's all done, uh, that's pretty much it for our main structure here for uh, layer one. With that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials we're going to need to make these banners for the road wheels on the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those materials, and I'll be back here shortly to show you guys how to make those banners. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into making these banners. We're going to need a loom, three green banners, and six black dye. To make these, we're going to go into our loom. We're going to place down our first green banner. We're going to place down our black dye. We want to go and then do the border of black that goes around the banner like so. And we're going to go and put that banner back into our loom, and then we're going to do a line that goes horizontally exactly through the center, just like that to go ahead and create our first banner. This right here is going to be our first banner, we're going to set that to the side. Our next two banners here, we're going to go ahead and split the banners in half of black on either side, or on both sides here, opposite sides for both banners. So we have the first banner here, it's going to be on the left side, splitting it in half, and then our second banner, we're going to go ahead and do the line splitting it in half on the right side. So you get basically two banners, just like that, opposite from each other. We're going to put each banner back into our loom, and just like we did for this banner, we're going to do a horizontal black line through the center, just like that, for each one. And just like this, and you have your banners designed. With that out of the way, we're going to go in very simply go to our black shulker boxes, and each black shulker box is going to get this banner that has the black border around it. So it should be four on each side. And then we want to go and then place down our two banners like this on the... Uh, polished black stone stairs. So just like this with the green facing toward each other. Same thing over here. So just like that. And once you have that done, that's going to pretty much do it for the banners there for the tracks. And as you can see, it creates a nice track design there for the vehicle, good spacing and stuff like that for the wheels and all that. Uh, but anyways, that right there is going to conclude layer number one for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer number two. One thing I do want to mention real quick though for the tutorial is we're going to be adding the camouflage add on at the end of the video. So if you are looking to add the camouflage on, just know we're going to be building it without it. And we're going to be going ahead and adding that back on later on um, in the video. But uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and continue on. Um, anyways, for us to go ahead and continue on, we're going to take our green shulker boxes. We're going to place down two green shulker boxes uh, bottom to bottom on top of those narrow brick ups downstairs. And then we're going to place down a row of two narrow brick ups downstairs come off those shulker boxes like so. After that's done, in between those stairs there, we're going to place down a row of uh, dark oak stairs across. So this is going to be a row of three. And we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame on the two stairs to the sides here. A white bed in those item frames, rotate on their sides like so. And then a dark oak sign coming off the uh, stairs like so. And that's a Java only feature. If you are on bedrock, you're not able to put an item frame and sign in the same block space. Same goes for an item frame and button. So anywhere on the build where I do the sign and the button, I would recommend just going ahead and doing the item frame and disregarding the sign or the button. Uh, again, kind of up to comes up to you guys what you guys want to do, but uh, really, that's the best way to do it. So if you're on bedrock, you'll probably just want to place down the item frames in this case. We're going to go ahead and place down two dark oak signs on the fronts here of these dark oak stairs. So like that. And then the sides here, we're going to place down a zombie head. And then a mossy cobblestone wall coming off the side here of this green shulker box. After that, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some green terracotta. And we're just going to fill in the space here between our shulker boxes with a row of three. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of seven of green terracotta across. Followed by a second row of seven. And then a third row like this across. We then want to take our mossy cobblestone walls. And we're going to place down one, two, three more back. Same thing over here. One, two, and three. Like that along the side there. After that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight rows of seven going back along the side here. And along these eight rows, we're going to place on dark oak trap doors on the ends and close them like this to create the side paneling that covers up the rest of the tracks. So just like that. And then after we get to this point, we're going to take our green terracotta and place down a row of three across the center here. Um, same thing for green shulker boxes. We're going to place down two shulker boxes like this back to back. In the corners there like so. We then want to place down a row of two narrow brick stairs on top of those narrow brick top slabs. 
And in the middle here between them, we're going to place down a spruce wood upside down stair to both sides and a mossy cobblestone wall in the center. Followed by an item frame coming off the mossy cobblestone wall, a green terracotta block in the item frame, and a dark oak wood sign over it like so. Again, if you're on Java, you can do the sign. If you're on bedrock, just do the item frame. So the sides here, we're going to go then place down an item frame on these shortcut boxes. And then we're going to go then place down a cobweb in the item frame. And again, if you're on Java, a dark oak wood button on the same side of the block as well. And same thing over here on this side like so. After that's all done, that's pretty much it for our main structure here for the build. We're going to go and now move into the banners here, which are basically these uh, the, for this back section here. I'm going to show you guys how to make those banners, and I'm going to go grab the materials. I'll be back here shortly to show you guys how to make them. All right, guys, so to go ahead and make these banners here for the back, it's super simple. We're going to need a loom, three black banners, two green dye, two yellow dye, two red dye. To get started with, we're going to go into our loom. We're going to take our black banner, put it into our, our first one. We're going to put it, put it into our loom and our green dye. We're going to select the horizontal line on the top third of the banner like that and we're going to basically make it and that's gonna be our first banner there and uh, actually we don't even need two green uh, die we just need the one so that right there is going to complete that banner our next uh, banner here we're going to go and put into our loom and we're going to then place down our yellow die we're going to select the top right hand corner uh, just like this and uh, or sorry we're actually going to go and select the top right hand corner no, oh, no, top left hand corner, we can do that. And then we're going to do the same thing with this banner, except we're going to go and do the opposite. So we're going to do the right side, like so. Each one of these banners, we're going to go and then place back into our loom, and we're going to take the red die, and we're going to do the opposite of the yellow square. So we're going to go do the red on the right side, and then the red on the left side here. So you get something that looks like that there. When we have that done, we're going to go and go to the back here. We're going to place down a this banner here, and this banner here, so that the yellow is facing toward the inside of the vehicle. And then we're just going to place down the green uh, striped banner, on the stair right next to it like that on both sides to so go ahead and create your back detail anyways so that right there is going to wrap up we have there for uh our back layer layer number or, sorry our back layer but before our back of our vehicle and that right there will conclude what we have there for layer number uh two with that let's go ahead and move into layer number three all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started with we're going to start off by placing down two redstone repeaters on top of these stairs just like this on both sides after that we want to go and then take our red or, or sorry, our daylight detectors. We're going to place down a row 7 across. We're going to follow this up by taking our dark liquid slabs, and we're going to go and then do a row 7 of dark liquid slabs across. And then at this point here, we're going to go and then grab ourselves some dark liquid stairs. And we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 from the sides there of dark liquid stairs, and then a dark liquid trapdoor there in the center for the driver's viewport. After we have that done, we're going to go then place down a end rod on top of these mossy cobblestone walls to both sides the first one here and then we're going to place down a zombie head on top of it at a very slight angle like this for the side mirrors on the vehicle so just like that and then after we have that done we have an optional feature as well uh, which is going to be going ahead and involving using a debug stick um, and if you do have access to it you can do this really nice detail trick um, but to do it very simply we're going to place down our levers here along the sides of these blocks so just like this and we can go and then take our debug stick and we can change the uh, direction that these levers face um, actually my bad it's gonna be we're gonna change the wall or the what they connect to so we're gonna go ahead and select the face wall we're gonna have it selected a floor so we're gonna go ahead and take these and put these all on the floor and then we can go ahead and activate them like this and it'll close up like so and same thing right here put these on the floor and we can go ahead and then close them like that and then as you can see here, once we delete those and we get done using the debug stick, we get this nice design here with the levers connecting up to the vehicle like so. Again, kind of an optional feature there. You don't really have to do it. You can use some zombie heads and stuff like that to kind of get a effect to fill in this area in. Uh, but the levers are definitely more accurate to how it actually looks for the side armor. Again, kind of up to you guys though on what you guys want to do there. At this point here though, we're going to place down a green shulker box to both sides here. And then a row of one two, three, four, and five green terracotta blocks across, just like that. After that's done, we then want to go ahead and place down a row of seven of green terracotta across. We're going to go then place down a second row of seven across as well, followed by a third row, a fourth, then a fifth row across. We're going to go then place down a row of five across the center here. We're going to grab our black concrete and a ladder, we're going to place a black concrete block here to both sides of a ladder on the side of the block. And we then want to go and take our spruce wood, or strip spruce wood blocks. We're going to place down two blocks going back on the sides here. And then in the center here, we're going to go and again take our green terracotta. Just fill this in with two rows of five in between those stripped spruce wood blocks. And then come off the side here of these blocks, we're going to place down tripwire hooks like this to both sides like that. 
After that's all done there, we want to go and then take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row 7, going all the way across here, and then a second row 7 directly after that. We're going to go and then take our ladders, and we're just going to place down a row 7 of ladders across the back here of the vehicle, just like that. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number 3. Looking at it from above here, this is what we should have so far. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number 4. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 4. For layer 4 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a uh, row of 3 of dark liquid ups down stairs here in the front. So we're going to go here, we're going to place down an ups and down dark liquid stair in the center, and then one stair coming off it to both sides, like so. After that, coming off the center two stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of dark liquid top steps, so one, two, and three. And then coming off the center top step, we're going to go one, two, three, top steps out. On the sides of this, the second and third top steps here, we're going to place down dark liquid signs to the sides. We then want to go ahead and follow this up by taking our top steps, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four more toward the front, followed by a zombie head coming off the top step on the front there, like so. After we have that done, we're going to go then take our green terracotta and place down a row 3 across this section here. And we're going to go then actually place down a row 5 across, my bad, and fall by a dark liquid top stab to both sides like that. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and also grab ourselves an item frame. And we're going to place down an item frame on top of these green shulker boxes. And then in that item frame, we're just going to place down a green terracotta block. From this, we're going to go then place down another row of 5 a green terracotta across. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some green stained glass panes. And we'll place down green stained glass panes here on the side of those green terracotta blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down again two more rows of seven of green terracotta going across. Grab our mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to do the same thing here with two mossy cobblestone walls all on the sides there like that. Once we get to this section, we're going to place down a dark liquid upside down stair to both sides like so. Followed by a row of three of green terracotta across the center. We then want to go ahead and place down a a uh, row of, or sorry about this section can be a green, a green stained glass full block or green terracotta block, to both sides. So this can be a row of five right here, and then we're gonna go and then do a row of three. This can have a dark liquid top seven to both sides, and then we want to go and then do a row of five of dark liquid top steps across. So it should look like this here on the back. At this point here, uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves dark liquid trap doors, and on top of the black concrete here, we're gonna place down a dark liquid trap door like so. And we can even place down one more forward from it. Um, so just head on both sides there. We're going to go then place down two daylight detectors going back from those trap doors. So just like this and make sure that they, if they do open the trap doors you do go ahead and close them. Then on the inside here we're going to place down two polished blackstone slabs over from both sides. And in the middle here we're going to place down a daylight detector just like that. Uh, once we get to this point we're going to go and then place down a row of, uh, of polished or it's going to be a row of two polished blackstone slabs back one two on both sides and then we're going to go ahead and place down a dark liquid slab on both sides and a dark liquid slab there in the middle then across the back here we're just going to place down a row of seven of dark liquid slabs all the way across like that to go and make the back there and with that all complete there that is going to wrap up what we have there for uh layer number uh four and with that let's go ahead and move into layer number five Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and move it into layer 5. For layer 5 to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and take our green carpet. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4 down the barrel, followed by two dark liquid trap doors, and then another green carpet right here. We're going to go ahead and place down 1 and 2 dark liquid trap doors leading to the left side, and then a green carpet over here to the right side. At this point here, going back from the dark liquid trap doors, we're going to place down two daylight detectors. Make sure to close those trap doors if they do open. And then to the sides here on these top slabs, we're going to place down a dark liquid trap door as well. And then in the center here, we're going to go and place on a green carpet, or right there to the side, like that. We then want to go ahead and go back from the trap doors to the sides here. We're going to place down a daylight detector to both sides. Again, close the trap door if uh, needed. Then uh, we want to go ahead and go to the center space here. We're going to place down one and two dark liquid slabs, and just like that. Then at this point here, we're going to place down a dark liquid slab on both sides there. And we're going to go and then grab ourselves a green shulker box. And we're going to place down a green shulker box here next to the slab over here to the right side. An item frame coming off that slab. And then in that item frame we're going to place down a black bed. Rotate on its side. And place a dark liquid sign over the side of the block. And we then want to go ahead and place down one and two dark liquid slabs over. Just like that. Once uh, that's all complete, completed there we're going to go and take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row three across. After that we want to go ahead and then place down a dark liquid stair. 
to both sides just like that and we're going to then place down a zombie head on top of this green stain glass paint at a slight angle just like this to both sides so the second glass pane here at a slight angle and we're going to then grab our mossy cobbles to walls and we're just going to place down two back like that on top of the walls from the previous layer in between this section, we're going to place down a row of five of green terracotta, going all the way across. At this point, uh, we then want to go ahead and grab our shulker boxes. We're going to place down, or not quite yet, actually. We're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta and do another row of seven, all the way across. At this point here, we're going to grab our shulker boxes. We're going to go ahead and do one, two, and one, two, like that. And then over here on the right side, we're going to go ahead and go one and two back, like so. Middle space here, we're going to go ahead and grab our stripped spruce wood blocks. We're going to place down one, two. Uh, strips spruce wood blocks across just like that and then taking our green terracotta we're just going to place down two blocks across there after that's done to the sides here we're going to place down a row of one and two polished black stone stairs and on the sides of those stairs we're going to grab ourselves dark oak wood signs and we'll just place down dark oak wood signs there on the sides of them and same thing over here like this and we're going to then place the signs after we get to this point we're going to then grab our some oak wood trap doors, some mossy cobblestone walls, dark oak wood signs, and dark oak wood fence gates. We're going to place down two oak wood trap doors, come out those two shulker boxes, fall by uh, oak wood trap doors around it like so. We then want to go and go over this side, we're going to place down an oak wood trap door coming off this shulker box here, and again, trap doors around it like so. This middle space here, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls, a dark oak wood sign to the left side, and then a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the right side there, wall. And we're going to have the fence gate open up toward the green uh, mossy cobblestone wall. Anyways, once we have that all done, that's pretty much it for the structure here for this layer. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good to go. Uh, I'm going to go and grab some uh, other materials here real quick. Or basically some materials here to make this little German uh, iron cross there banner on the side of the vehicle. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and grab those materials and I'll see you guys here in the back shortly. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving in to make this little iron cross banner, it's pretty straightforward to do. To go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go into our loom, we're going to place down our green banner and our black die. To begin with, we want to go ahead and do a uh, vertical uh, line that goes uh, through the center of the banner, like this. And then we're going to go and do a horizontal line that goes through the center, so we create this cross shape. After that, we're going to then place down our white die in the center here. We're going to create that white dot. And then we're going to put our black die back into the banner. We're going to go and then do the cross. So it goes through the center like so. And after that, we're going to go ahead and take our green die and we're going to do the line across the top there of green die. And then the line across the bottom here. And we're going to get a banner that looks just like this. This banner here, very simply, is just going to go ahead and go on the side here of this green terracotta block to both sides uh, like that to go ahead and make that little cross symbol. Anyways, though, with that all out of the way, that right there is going to complete uh, what we have there for layer 5. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number 6 through 10, actually, our final layers. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a zombie head on top of this green terracotta block, followed by a zombie head at a slight angle like that to the side there. After that, going back from this zombie head here, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab. In the space in the middle here, we're going to place down a zombie head, then there's a spruce wood slab at the side, and we're going to place down a zombie head on this green terracotta block like that, in front of that spruce wood slab. We then also want to place down a green terracotta block here to the, or sorry, a zombie head to the side here of this slab, and then also one right there going toward the back. Uh, after that, we're going to place down a dark oak wood button here in this space here, an iron bar looking on this spot, and then a dark oak wood fence post over here to the right side of this slab. And also come off this slab here toward the back, we're going to place down a zombie head as well. We then want to go and take our spruce buttons, we're going to place down two spruce buttons across these two strip spruce wood blocks, and then over here in the corner we're going to place down an item frame with a green terracotta block in the item frame. From this point we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post on the green shulker boxes here in the corners of the turret, and then we're going to go up four iron bars up from each one of these fence posts, like that for the radio antennas. So just like that. Last thing we have to do here for this uh, build is the chain uh, or the machine gun which is going to need a chain polished blackstone stairs zombie head spruce wood stair redstone um or redstone repeater a item frame with a black bed and a dark oak wood sign uh to go ahead and build this super simple for the machine gun we're going to place a polished blackstone upside down stair like so followed by a spruce wood upside down stair behind it a chain coming off the stair here toward the front a zombie head to the side of the polished blackstone stair item frame on the side of the stair black bed in the item frame rotated facing forward and a dark oak wood sign on the side of the item frame or the side of the stair if you are on java 
And then on top here, we're just going to place down a redstone repeater with the notch to spread apart like that on top of the stair to go ahead and make that machine gun. So pretty simple little design there. And once you have that all done, that right there is going to basically do it for layers 6 through 10. And with that, it's going to complete basically the uh, base model design here for the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and now move into the version, which is going to cover the camouflage. And actually, one quick thing I do want to add is uh, the top here. We actually have this optics box, which is a green sugar box between these zombie heads and then a zombie head on top of it. So my bad, go ahead and throw that on there as well onto the top. But right there, that is going to now do it for the main structure here for the vehicle. We're gonna go now move into the camouflage, which I'm gonna kind of briefly talk about, show you guys how to go about doing it. And uh, from there, that's gonna pretty much wrap up the build. So with that, let's go ahead and move into the camo. All right guys, so going ahead and moving into the camouflage. And the camouflage isn't anything too simple. And if you are looking for references, it is known as the forest camo. Uh, basically all we'll be doing is mixing some polished blackstone with some slash black. Uh, into uh, with uh, some spruce wood as a light brown into basically the already green vehicle. Now our goal is to keep the vehicle kind of for the most part still green um, but just kind of adding these little bits and pieces of it kind of giving it a nice mixture as you can see over here. But basically the best way to do this is to go ahead and just kind of find and start a place. So we're going to go into our barrel here we can start off our barrel. We're just going to go and throw in some uh, spruce top slabs here instead and we're going to place down some spruce pressure plates on top just to keep that um same kind of height consistency there for the barrel so you don't have like that dip there which is kind of visible if you look at it from the side um we then can have the uh, polished blackstone kind of come back in here and start with the turret so we kind of have that darker color right there fortunately we don't have any good trap doors to use instead um so that's kind of unfortunate but for carpet, I would recommend using like a dark gray as it's kind of a mixture. It's 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 a really hard color. It's kind of a green gray that we're working with here. Um, so polished blackstone is kind of the closest we have to that. But we'll kind of have it start right there and there and kind of go into that section. Then the sides of the hole here, we can go ahead and maybe replace some of these walls. Now, the walls here with the levers, if you do break those walls, they will uh, need to be replaced. So, you know, as you can see, I'm not going to replace the levers. You guys know that they need to be replaced and... If you're doing it, if you even did the technique with the levers, then that's something you can go ahead and address yourself. Uh, but we're going to put a little bit of polished blackstone there. And note, we're not doing like huge splotches or wrapping the tank in it. We're just kind of doing like small little sized, um, you know, bits and pieces of it here. We're not trying to go too crazy with it. Uh, we'll throw some spruce in here a little bit as well. And then for the sides here, we can go ahead and continue on back. Uh, we can go ahead and change the trap doors. Unfortunately, we don't have any great trap doors. So. We're going to have to basically just use spruce wood trapdoors for the most of it on the side here. But we can have some brown here on the side. Um, and a good replacement for the walls here is to use the granite walls. Those actually work pretty good. Um, change it to a brown color. And you can use the brain brown stained glass as well to kind of change the color of it as well. I do recommend behind the glass and the wall that you do replace the blocks with um, spruce. So you kind of keep that brown color showing all the way through. If uh, that makes sense. And then here we'll just go and put a little bit of polished blackstone as well. That kind of works its way into... This section here but we're not going to go all the way up we're just going to have it kind of go right there then on the back here i mean pretty much the same thing we've been doing a little bit of, we can put a little polished black stone here in the corner and then put a little bit of spruce wood that comes off the side here and change this to over the spruce wood as well and then um that's pretty much kind of what we're doing here uh for the turret itself i can show you a little bit more up in here uh we can put a little bit of polished black stone up in the turret uh then maybe a little bit of more spruce wood like so uh, you can also change your zombie heads to black so for example if we have a section of this that we put some black in so say right here we have some polished black stone in we can go ahead and use wither skeleton skulls those are a good um, kind of replacement up here for these zombie heads to kind of keep that color that flows into the cupola like that and we have a little bit of polished black stone that drops down this way and again we don't have to be afraid to use some stained glass as well on the inside there so we can use a black stained glass right there, or gray, whichever one works. Um, but yeah, you kind of get the general idea for the camouflage. You're just going to kind of wrap the whole tank in it and just kind of put it there bits and pieces. And you can see it adds a really nice amount of detail to the build, kind of shakes it up and compared to just this, the flat gray, um, or the flat green, which um, you know still looks good, but the camouflage just adds that extra bit of detail to it. So that right there is kind of the basic general idea of how to do the camouflage. Again, I'm not going to go super in-depth with it because it's something you can really just do for yourself, really. It's pretty straightforward, just mixing some blocks in. Hopefully uh, the block choices and stuff like that did help you. Just make sure that if you do break anything that does have a sign with it or an item frame, that you do replace the, the item frame or whatever if it does break or the tripwire hook or whatever uh, because you do lose out on that detail if you do forget to replace that. 
Uh, but anyways, for the most part, that right there is going to wrap up my tutorial here for the Leopard 2A5. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do abuse this build, I do so you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be the on the build to my channel or this video if this does bring you social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. With that, though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.